Hello and welcome to my channel. I am Mensa and Congestion. Please, if you are new here, kindly subscribe to my channel. And if you have been watching my videos and do not subscribe, kindly subscribe for us to build the mathematics can together. In this lesson, we are going to look at the derivative of y equal to natural log of e to the power square root of cosine x squared. How do we differentiate this? Very simple. Remember that uh, if you have log a to the base e, you write it as ln a. So we can write log e to the base e equal to 1 because log of a number to the base of the same number is 1. Now, from the loss of logarithm, that the third law of logarithm, the exponent will come and multiply the log of the numbers. You can write y to be equal to square root of cosine x squared times the natural log of e. Here we have y is equal to square root of cosine x squared. Very simple as that. Remember that natural log of e means log e to the base e, and that is 1. Here, the square cannot cancel the square root. There's a difference between cosine square x, that is cosine x squared. But here, if I write cosine x squared here, only this x is squared, not cosine of x. If I have, let's say, cosine of 30 squared, it means find cosine of 30 and then square the answer. If I have cosine of 30 squared, it means square the 30 after that point cosine of the answer. So let's concentrate on our differentiation. So you can write y to be equal to cosine x squared all to the power half. This is a function of a function. So first, let's take u to be equal to cosine x squared. This is by that y is equal to u to the power half. Very simple as that. Now, this one too is a function of a function. So if we take v to be equal to x squared, we are going to have u to be equal to cosine u. Sorry, cosine then. So now, how do we find our dy on dx? Now, we will find the derivative of this. Multiply it by that and multiply it by that. We will get here. So let's do that. So here, the derivative of y with respect to u is equal to half of u to the power negative 1 out of 2. And that will give us half to u to the power positive half. This will give us 1 divided by 2 root u. And this is the same as 1 divided by 2 square root of cosine x squared. Now, the derivative of v with respect to x is equal to 2x. And here, the derivative of u with respect to v is equal to minus sine v. That is equal to minus sine, what is v? x squared. So now, dy on dx. We are going to write dy on du times dv on dx times du on dv. I've not done this in my videos before, but you can do that. You see that this two will give us, uh, let's see, uh -huh. if we want du dx, du dx, this two will give us du dx. That is what I've been doing in my previous videos. This two. Where is my red marker? Oh. Red marker can. Yes. Uh -huh. This two is equal to du dx. Because here we have to find du dx and multiply it by dy du. So here we have to find dy on du. And then here we have to find du on dx. So if you multiply these two together, you get dy dx. And this du dx will be given by dv on dx times du on dv. 
That is what we have here. So I'm going to put all of them together. So this will give us dy du. 1 divided by 2 times the square root of cosine x squared times given ds. 2x times du given minus sine x squared. And we are going to have the derivative of y with respect to s to be equal to these two cancel these two. Wow. So we have minus sine x squared divided by the square root of here is x here cosine x squared. Remember, these two cannot cancel the square root. I've explained it earlier as our final answer. Thank you for watching and please subscribe to my channel. Bye bye.